Welcome to the Nokia Optical Networking Learning Essentials video series from the Nokia Optical Network Certification Program, an end-to-end -end learning program supporting Nokia 1830, PSS, VWM, and NFMT-based networks. Today, we'll look at link redundancy via the Multi-Chassis Link Aggregation Group, or MCLAG. This video has been created based on the Nokia Integrated Packet Transport over WDM course. In this video, I will provide an overview of the multi-chassis lag protocol implementation through the Ethernet Service Manager, a tool included into the Nokia NFMT platform. We will see how the concept of LAG can be extended and used together with other protection mechanisms such as ERP to increase the network reliability. The multi-chassis lag, or MC lag, is an extension of the classical lag that extends beyond link layer protection by allowing two devices to share a common lag endpoint. This protocol extension is implemented between a customer edge, or CE, and one or two provider edge, or PE devices. Depending on the network topology, in addition to the link redundancy provided by the standard lag protocol, multi-chassis lag is typically implemented to protect both card and device level. Note that the two provider edge devices do not need to be directly connected to each other by physical links. The communication between the two peers is realized through a control protocol service using external ports connecting the two nodes. The MC lag control protocol extends the link aggregation control protocol used for standard lags and provides a monitoring mechanism with the function of exchanging information between multi-chassis lag peering devices. In this way, each device can monitor the status of its peer. The link aggregation control protocol is still used to establish the roles of the links into active and standby towards the access node. In this configuration, a multi-chassis lag is implemented on the same device shelf providing redundancy at card level. In case of card failure, the custom traffic is protected by the standby card. The two cards can exchange control protocol messages through external ports or through a backplane mate interface. In the node redundancy configuration, instead, the multi-chassis lag protects customer traffic in case of node failure. The control protocol messages are exchanged between the two independent nodes using external ports and the link aggregation control protocol is still used to set the roles of the links belonging to the lag. One of the most common applications in Ethernet-based transport network is the implementation of the multi-chassis lag in combination with the Ethernet Ring Protection Protocol. In case of a common point of failure, with this kind of network configuration design, both the access and the transport network have their own reliability mechanism providing a fully protected end-to-end -end topology. Now, let's move to the lab by running the Ethernet Service Manager tool. We're going to focus on the provider edge side where two types of configurations are required. A standard lag configuration to define the customer facing ports a multi-chassis lag configuration to define the peers and the link aggregation control protocol settings. For convenience, the external customer device lag has already been configured. First, let's deploy the standard lag for each provider edge node by running one of the lag usage in multi-chassis lag template from the best practices folder tree. A new window is displayed. We select the node and the card. Then, the lag member has to be defined. Special attention must be given to the selection of the active standby members achieved with the priority and subgroup IDs. The lowest priority value controls the candidate member to be the active. Different subgroups must be associated to the two members in order to establish active standby roles of the lag. Once done, we'll move to the LACP panel where the control protocol will be set to the active mode. Note that all remaining attributes automatically set on the template are valid for the purpose of this video. Finally, the first part of the multi-chassis lag can be deployed. Note that the same steps must be repeated for the second standard lag configuration on the other peer. Let's move to the multi-chassis lag configuration by running the specific template. A second template window will be displayed. We set the name for the multi-chassis lag. Then, we select the two peers from the multi-chassis lag source pane.
These peers refer to the previously selected standard lag members. From the source peer communication pane, we need to define the external ports or links that will be used by the multi-chassis lag to exchange the control messages. In this case, a previously deployed ERP topology is selected. Let's enable the OAM. We can associate the two standard lags created as the first step by defining the encapsulation type and the two standard lags. We can now fill in all the mandatory attributes VLANs, priority, etc. Finally, it's time to deploy the multi chassis lag. Let's now summarize what we have seen so far. Multi chassis lag extends the usage of the standard lag beyond link protection, adding an extra level of reliability at both card and node level. To achieve this, a control protocol must be enabled to manage status changes between peers. Multi-chassis lag can work in combination with ERP to provide a multi-layer protection mechanism. Multi-chassis lag implementation is done by using the convenient and user-friendly ESM best practices templates. Thanks for watching and look for more videos in our Optical Networking Learning Essential series. Whether your goal is to enhance your optical networking skills or demonstrate your expertise through one of our four industry-recognized certifications, the Optical Network Certification Program is here to get you, your career, and your organization on the right path. Our program features nine instructor-led courses developed by our team of subject matter experts using industry best practices, use case-driven examples, and hands-on labs. Learn more and get started today by visiting our website. Thank you.